Hi, my name's Seema and I'm part of the clinical nutrition team here at Biocare. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the immune system and natural ways to boost it when you need to. Now, the immune system is a vital defence mechanism that protects us from the continuous bombardment from bacterial, viral and fungal organisms in our daily environment. During the winter especially, we can become more aware of all the infections going around and might be concerned about how well our own immune system is working. We all want to avoid that dreadful discomfort that comes with an infection, not to mention the disruption it causes in our day-to-day -day lives. Fortunately, there are a number of things we can do to support our immune system and prevent this from happening. Probiotics are a great place to start to boost the levels of good bacteria in the gut. Did you know that approximately 70 to 80% of your immune system tissue is located in your digestive tract? So increasing the amounts of friendly bacteria in your gut can support immune system function. Certain strains of bacteria, such as Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, have been shown to be effective in reducing the severity and duration of respiratory infections in children. So, Probiotics may be the best thing for you and the whole family to take all winter to prevent those coughs and colds. Vitamin D can also be useful in preventing infections. It enhances the immune system's ability to recognise foreign organisms and mount an attack response against them. Now it can be difficult to get enough vitamin D during the winter as it comes mostly from sunshine. So it's worth considering supplementing a good quality vitamin D during those colder, darker months. Now, if you do happen to catch a cold or the flu, there are a number of nutrients that can support the immune system further. For example, vitamin C can improve the function of the immune cells and reduce the duration of an infection. Elderberry, which is a naturally good source of vitamin C, can stop viruses from entering our cells and causing damage. Beta-glucans are natural sugars found in certain types of mushrooms and oats that can activate the immune cells and reduce the symptoms of respiratory infections. Diet and nutrition is also very important if you do become ill. You can increase the amounts of natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory foods in your diet to help support your immune system. These include things like garlic, ginger, turmeric, coconut oil. Um, bone broth is rich in minerals, collagen and glutamine, which can help support the digestive system. And this can be made easily at home. Vegetable juices are good if you have a low appetite as they are a great source of nutrients and antioxidants. Now quite often if you get ill you can feel really tired, achy and feverish. This is a sign that your body is trying to fight off the infection and telling you to rest. Now rather than ignoring this and reaching for those antibiotics, it's better to help support your body by keeping well hydrated, resting and eating nutrient dense foods. Now I hope you feel encouraged to try some of these recommendations at home, but if you would like more tailored support then please feel free to contact the clinical nutrition team directly.